Welcome back my friends to a tarot card reading here on the Raising Wellness channel. I can't believe it's March already. February was so filled with so much stuff for this community. We just recently had our Lunar Mist giveaway which I'm sure we will do more of because you guys really enjoyed this. We had so much to do with the full moon, with surrender, with letting things go and discovering new things, you know, really stepping into those attentions. So it's been a really huge month for a lot of us. And if you remember, our February tarot card reading was what you want wants you. So all of that work, all of that letting go, all of that surrendering, all that intention setting, and all that work that you put into February is just going to help bring you into this month of March 2019. So let's jump right in and see what the tarot cards have to tell us for this month of March. I like to use these two decks, so my Sacred Rebels deck and the Universe Has Your Back deck, both of which are linked in the description box below for you if you want to play with these yourself. So we're going to pull first from the Sacred Rebels deck to find out what the cards have to tell us for this coming month. And I don't know about you guys, but the past few months that I've done this for us, it has been so on point for like the whole month. And I hope that you guys purchase these decks with the link down below because it's really nice. I've been taking these cards, whatever we pull, and putting them right on my desk. And it's a constant reminder for that full month. And that has been so super helpful and powerful for me. Alright, so I'm just going to shovel these cards for you guys and I'll skip to the next scene so you don't have to watch. Alright, I've shuffled the cards and now I'm just thinking about each and every one of you in the Raising Wellness community. Each and every one of you that is here diving into their healing, setting their intentions, surrendering and letting things go. Thinking about all of you for March 2019, what is it that you need to see and hear? Alright, I feel like it's in this half right here. Alright, it's this card. So, Diving for Light. This is our card, Diving for Light here. So now I have this card and I'm going to pull a card from our universe has our back deck and this is like an affirmation based deck if it's your first month tuning in here how I use these cards is I will pull from the sacred rebels deck first we'll find out the message about it and then the affirmation or the card we pull from the universe has your back deck is um, a saying or an affirmation or a quote that you can use to fuller more fully hone in the message that we got from the sacred rebels deck so I'm just going to shuffle these cards again like I did before and then pick one out for us. Alright. So this is the card we got. Oh, I've never pulled this one before. The more energy and intention I bring to my faith, the more fearless and free I am. I'll put a picture of it right here for you. So, the more energy and intention I bring to my faith, the more fearless and free that I am. And it has a really awesome hummingbird right here. All right, so let's dive in and see what our message is for the Diving for Light card number 11 out of the Sacred Rebels deck and this Hummingbird card right here. All right, so these decks come with a book that you can read that gives you a little bit more in-depth description about the cards. And from what I've gathered from that reading and from my own intuitive guidance is that this 
diving into light card is showing us that we are about to dive into the darkness, the darkness of ourselves. And that is, you know, that could be fear, anger, it could be frustration, it could be, you know, it could have reasons for coming up and it could not. It could just be expressing itself now and surfacing now because you are now ready to look at it compassionately, to look at it with a, a loving heart and a loving presence for yourself. So there might be a lot of things that are coming up and especially during this full moon that it brought up a lot of those things that were ready to surface, a lot of those anger, fear, depression, things that maybe you thought you had resolved but they're coming up to the surface again. So that's exactly what this card is talking about. It's telling you that right now, this coming month, there's going to be these different tests that come up for you to see if you can stay grounded in that presence of yourself, that presence of love and compassion and those intentions that you have been setting. So. In doing so, you're really cultivating your faith to be stronger than the darkness. And this isn't to say that the darkness is necessarily bad. It's to say that you are ready now to observe the darkness. You know how in a lot of our meditations we observe the thoughts and images that arise, you know? And I shared in the Facebook community page this past month about some darkness that was coming up for me and how I use my meditation practice to observe it rather than to get sucked down into it. And I also had times this past month where like I fell into sadness and anger and and depression and thought things that I thought were going away and it's actually towards the end of February that those things started coming up. So you might start noticing those in your life as well because we are collective consciousness, especially here on this channel. We are all moving through those vibrations of healing at this moment. And so diving for the light is all about going through that darkness, going through those different tests and emotions that may come up and continuing to dive and find the light through your darkness by staying true to the love that you know is in you and around you. So you're going to be tested this month and just know that right here, the more energy and intention you bring to your faith, bring to that knowledge that you are being shown this darkness right now because you are strong enough to move through it, the more fearless and the more free you are, the more freedom you will find because you're giving, you're being given these tests right now to come out that other end into that bright, shining person that you want to become, that goal you want to manifest, you know, whatever that reality is that you're trying to shift and move into, you're moving through, I'm seeing it, this is how I'm seeing it, it's like this openness and expansion right here in the month of February and then March is kind of openness and expansion then March is kind of constricting and holding you into the darkness so you can see it and come out the other end and be expanded into this new season this new um, this new light so we'll see what happens in uh, Feb January February March April but right now March it wants you to stay focused on compassion stay focused in your faith of knowing that whatever your intentions are, wherever your energy is, is going to help you move compassionately with yourself through this darkness and out the other side. So I'm going to put a picture here of our cards so you guys can see them. Like I said, if you want to play with these decks yourself, the just the um, link for them is down below and I have been putting them right in front of me on my desk every single month and it has been so helpful especially um, when those those dark things come up, when those um, learning lessons come up, stay grounded. You can look at these cards and remember where we started this month. So I hope that you guys will purchase the cards for yourself so you can have them in your hands and remember this intention because moving through darkness, through trauma, through depression, through sadness, through overwhelm, through whatever it is that you're moving through is going to be hard but it is going to be worth it if you continue to grow your faith and grow your compassion for yourself and your journey. So this is a really big month, you guys. I'm sending you so much love and so much gratitude wherever you are in the world. I can't wait to hear what you guys have to say 
about this month's reading in the comments down below. We will be tackling this topic a lot on this channel this coming month and also a lot daily personal connection in the Facebook group, which the link for that if you aren't a part of the Raising Wellness Facebook group for daily personal um, intention setting reminders, the link for that is down below in the description box. Um, I hope that you guys will become a part of that community. It has been growing so much and so much good information and reminders has been flowing through that group, not just from me, but from other community members here on Raising Wellness. And that's what I'm going to leave you with. I love you guys. I'm sending you so much support and so much gratitude. And I will see you in our next video.